Now, we have had some pretty amazingly horrible races in this series. Just wrecks after wrecks after wrecks after wrecks. But we have not had a single split race like we're about to have. On a track that, no offense to the schedule maker, Brett, um, yeah, we should be on the full course once they went mixed class with this series. Should have went to the full course with this, but we got what we got, so nothing we can do about that. We're just going to have to live with it. 58 second laps, and uh, it's going to be interesting. But that doesn't even really matter with what we have for a field. Now, I'm going to do something crazy and qualify so that I can at least be ahead of the really slow people. Because once we get back here in the uh, LMP3s, we're at a 900, a 700, and rounding out the field, we've got a 600 in the GT4. This is going to be absolute chaos. Like, not even, not even close to most of them, I assume. There are, we will probably have someone wreck on the pace lap. <laughs> I, it, it very well could happen. So, I love this place. I'm glad that we don't have the new track yet, because the new track sucks. But uh, I am kind of running this corner a bit like the, well, in the new track, they kind of enter low, slide up high. I'm running around the top and cutting down on exit. Then this freaking corner, absolutely hate it. It is difficult. It is everything that I am bad at. Blind hills, not well defined. Then a very slow chicane. And then into the final two turns, which not quite flat out for this one. Got to be careful, but then uh, definitely flat out. But this is where GTs will be grand. And then massive brake locking into turn one. Uh, seeing a lot of that. We're aiming for a 59 here in qualifying. My best lap's a 58. Not planning on hitting that, although the track is cooler. But it takes me a few laps to really get up to speed, plus we're on race fuel, so. I've been experiencing some very, very bad oversteer. Uh, the thing just wants to spin on me. And once it does that, there's like no getting it back. So, I've got to be careful of that. We just need to pace ourselves into a nice gap. We run a 58, alright. But it is a cooler track, so I should be a little quicker than what I was doing in practice. So we just need to be uh, very conscious of on throttle and uh, not have any moments like we just had there of getting it loose on entry. I'm losing a lot of time here. That's just how it's going to be. I need to take a look at that corner from the air, but... I haven't done that. I could use all the tools like Active Reset and all that stuff, but I don't do that. Not for any reason. I'm just too lazy to load up a test session. If I could go a test session where I have the countdown clock like in a practice before race and automatically go into the race, then I would probably do it for it, but... Looks like, at the moment, we're going to be right around our car number. We're at 
least faster than the GT4s. They are actually putting in some faster times than I thought they would, but there are a lot of slow corners on this course. So, uh, really, it's uh, not too big of a split difference. But what's going to be killer is some of the GTs are going to be very slow and very unpredictable in their decision making. So what I'm hoping for, what I what I didn't want to do was start behind people that are in the one minute and one seconds. We were just going to get jammed up there and it was going to be risky. It's risky no matter what. Single split, it's going to be risky anywhere on track. There is a ton of LMP3s. So if we can be ahead of the wreck and then do our normal thing of just not overdriving, not forcing things, then I am hopeful we can get a top 10. But uh, we got to not get wrecked on the start, which is going to be very difficult. This video could only be like six minutes longer. We're waiting on everyone else to finish up. Apparently some people are waiting later. We've got uh, four incidents out there for this guy, the number 14. Five incidents out of the 29 in qualifying. Where's the 29? 29 is going to be at the back. And 14 is going to be at the back if he uh, ruined both his laps to not get a lap in. A few more people and we could uh, go. They've all got incidents as well, but... We'll just wait, I guess. One of them's got a black flag now. Yep, cleared his black flag. There we go. We got one person done. Come on, guys. Don't make me sit here for a minute 30 trying to fill. There we go. We got one more left. Come on, four car. You can do it. Do a lap. Or hit the blue button. One guy. Is one guy going to make us sit here for a minute? Can he do a lap? And if he's on a lap, he should be finishing. I think we're going to have to sit here for 45 more seconds. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, so at least makes the video longer, right? And we got a pace lap that we got to do. There we go. Hey, we're done. He beats us. We're starting P11. We're pretty much at the back, but I think it was better to qualify just to make sure we're ahead of the slower people. Let's do a refresh on paint schemes just to really make the game hate me. I loaded mine up properly, so that's good. Um, yeah, place your bets on how long this is going to be. Single split. I... Uh, I thought maybe we'd get lucky and it would split, but I guess this is going to be better for the just pure chaos of it all. We'll see. If we got to do a full pace lap, I'm guessing someone is going to wreck on it. I hope it's not me.
just trying to let all these paint schemes load so it's not happening while we're in the car. Most of them. Um, show me the Red Bulls. Where are the Red Bulls at? Oh, there we go. We got a Red Bull. It's close to us, but a little ahead of us. One left to green. Line up on the right side. Closed. Pit road is closed. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to put the Delta R up because lap times are not going to mean anything. Not getting wrecked is going to be what it's all about. Thirty minutes once we take the green. about the car behind me. Looks like he was uh, accelerating directly at our wing. That warmed the brakes. Apparently we're all in P0 right now. yellow glow from the cockpit. Uh, what would that be? I don't know. The shell of it. The padding or whatever it is. They gotta get that glow turned down a bit. I'm gonna 1x on the pace lap. Side so we don't get hit. Alrighty. This one's gonna be scary. There are so many points where people are spinning out, going off, overdriving. And we are going to be all jammed up on each other with the very slow pace, speed, and the late pit entry. So about to go green, stay focused. Yeah, this start is gonna be nuts as well. Let's hope they go directly on pace car. Pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. Oh my god. <laughs> Just back off, stay inside. They're wrecking behind. Thankfully, we didn't get hooked there. We got a gap behind us. That's going to erase itself very quickly as we all get jammed up here. I'm just going to go defensive. If they want to pass me on the outside, they can. I just don't want anyone coming in and cleaning us out. is cutting the chicane. We just miss him. I thought he'd be long gone by then, but he was not. He's feeling a bit loose. We've got a nice gap. Guys locked up and went off. That is why I didn't want anyone on the inside of me. That puts us up to eighth. And then we are just gonna put around here and if people catch us now, we'll let them go. 
there are a few faster people that have got behind us. And there's a bunch of people that didn't qualify. Let me zero on throttle. There's nothing that we gain by trying to be fast, because we're just... We're not fast. It's not me on road. What I can do, though, is be slow and stay on track for the most part, so... Big gap behind. That's about where we want to be on pace, just 59s. Fifty nines and consistent. No locking up, no spinning the tires. No trying to be a hero. Almost drove off. Twenty five is tracking us down. Push there. 25 though, really bad through that last corner. Well, 50, no, okay. I was like, what? I forgot who was telling us the fast lap. Well, they are running into each other behind us and really slowing each other down, so that's good news. Now, we are two seconds off the pace. feasible that we could uh, get ourselves lapped, especially if we are slow through the GTs, we'll be giving up even more time, two and a half seconds behind, Let's take that too far to the inside and then totally my exit. 19 and the 25 are still alive behind us. 59-1. I'm perfectly fine just uh, running right behind this guy because he's not scaring me. He hasn't looked like he's overdriving it. He's just driving around like we are. I'm not trying to be a hero. right about our pace when I'm not being terrible through the corners. It's a little wider. It's a little better. They have wrecked behind us. seconds to the 25. He was catching us, but he uh, had to have got a little bit of damage from the contact that happened in the one. It looked like a pretty hard hit. Nose is shoving bad, but I tightened this thing up to try to help it on exit when I was getting issues with wheel spin. Starting to see a little bit of wheel spin out of the 17 ahead. Let's keep an eye on that. Everyone ahead is pulling away, as you would expect, and it is GT time. go to the racing line? Will they go offline? Will they try to block? We got around that one. Only 50 more to go. Let's 
guy's just gonna hold the inside line. It's impossible to really get a run to their inside for the chicane with that short run up, so you just gotta wait. Where's he gonna go this time? ton of time there, but nothing we can do about that. Guess he's letting us go. Didn't really need to do that. I don't think I'm faster than you. He might have just got scared with how far I got up under his wing there. He knows that there's going to be a car stopped coming around there. Not as chaotic as I thought it was going to be. But we don't know what's going on on the other half of the track. Six point six behind us is the twenty five. Just 
started getting the right rear feeling like it wanted to loop on us, so I'm going to have to be careful about that. Sadly, we're not going to be catching them at the perfect spot out of the final corner. You got a slow car on the left. Go right. There's the 14. side of this guy, so we just gotta wait. He's gonna overdrive it. Left side. Clear on the left. 17 got held up quite a bit, though. Gives us a little bit of breathing room. Please tell me we're, like, halfway. No, two minutes away. Really, though, around us, it has not been chaos. Now, this is the 600 I rated guy. It's just changing lanes. Could have held the inside line there, but instead quickly moved over to the right for no reason. We're going to pass the leader of the GT class. That's why I expected the slow guy to stay there to the bottom. Because that's kind of where the line is. Clear. He's gonna get stuck behind him through the chicane. Give us another little bit of a gap. And he's got the 14 coming up on him. Wish the 14 would just wreck. We'll get him past us when he catches us. Really shovy nose there. That's an open track, so let's try to see if we can be not terrible. Very surprised we haven't got to like any lap down the piece. Yep, never mind. Here they are. He's in 13th place. I'm pretty sure we had like 23 LMP threes. So are that many people out of the race already? That would be impressive.
they put the left rear on the sand. Got Allen Key 3 coming out of the pits. Almost messed my braking marker. Can't let brain fade set in. I love this place, but I absolutely hate the new track. It just ruined, like, this combo in a fast car is so much fun. And it's just ruined now. I didn't know if we were going to get there. But I wanted to make it clear that I am looking to pass. I think he backed off there. That little kink is tough side by side. This stupid one, though, can just be destroyed. I don't even know if it exists anymore on the new track. I'm assuming they kept all the club stuff. It was really only the inner turn and then these two turns. I'm not sure a bunch of runoff put elsewhere. But we will sadly be getting it. Hopefully we get to keep this one. We should be. We are catching sixth. But he is jammed up right now, I believe. 14 is catching us. 17 has fallen back more. We've got quite a bit of traffic up here. GTs, lapped LMPs. Everything else you could ever want. Oh, the nose shoved. Could have got here sooner, but the nose shoved out, and I just could not get it to go. Go wide, lift off, cut back. We were not pushing out there while we're catching him. on the brakes. They've got Wiggly. Just not confident at all into that corner. If you look how many times I stab the brake and turn. Straight line speed. So he's been in the pits for repair and uh, has gotten the dreaded slow on streets damage. But will he just let us go? Probably not. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Even though we have someone right in front of us that we're racing. Let's see, once we get to the straightaway, unless he just runs this car over. Left side, clear on the left. Car right, clear. Thank you. 
Eight. Can't guarantee that it'll be faster than you through the rest of the track, but here we go. Sixth place just ahead. is catching us as well. Red Bull is going to get slowed up here. No shove, that doesn't help me. GT picking a terrible way to drive traffic. Goes off because of it. Clear on the left. A little bit of draft. Okay, if you want to take the worst line in, that's fine with me. I wasn't even going to try to pass you because I'm not driving a Red Bull scheme. I ain't going to dive it in from five cars back. might actually just let the 14 pass me and let these two take each other out so that I gain the spot easy. Much easier to let someone else go wreck him than me try to pass him. Fucking nose turn. Red Bull is doing Red Bull things. Team is just going to be an absolute idiot. We're just going to let him go because I'm not getting ran over. All right. Let's see if this was the smart call. Sometimes I'm right. it there, but seeing how the Red Bull went defensive and the 14 really cut all of that way closer than I'd like, um, I assume we're going to see a turn one wreck. Someone just shove off. That'd be the best, is if they just shove off the track. No, he doesn't get the speed. So it might be a GT and LMP3 wreck as they try to go three wide or something. Or it might just not happen, but it's fine. I don't think we were going to make that pass. off there it was a little dangerous by me. Red Bull's off. That ruins our plan. Holy shit, what are you doing, dude? Why are you hitting the fucking brakes in the middle of the corner? Oh, yeah. Alright, well, 
it worked out. We got the one spot. I don't like this. Alright, we just can't have the nose shove or that. Hopefully we don't, well, never mind. I was going to say hopefully we don't get Red Bull, but Red Bull, Red Bull himself, so. Alrighty. E7. Two minutes left. Should be getting white flag next time around. Well, maybe not. Forgot we're doing 58. We were good to drop the fuel more, but again, that's not our issue. Let's just try not to spin it on the last lap this time. Or the next to last lap, or the lap before that. Don't want to jinx myself. So, no pressure behind. 17's 8.7 seconds back now. Kind of surprised how much he fell off. Then we get to the fun part, where we got to watch everyone else's screw-ups. nothing to race for either, but still would have been nice to get a little lift there. Thankfully, we're okay. These two are fighting ahead of us. We've got room now. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna confuse him make him screw up because he thinks that we're going to throw a pass. It wasn't like he was going to catch the guy, but there was just no need for me to pass him there. There we go! Seventh place. Seventh place and zero incidents. Nice run. Solid work. now while there's not too many people behind. I, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, we, we didn't really lose as many as I thought we did. I guess there wasn't that many LMP3s. Maybe there was. Let's do this. That. There was 21. Okay, there was a lot. And uh, we had 12 finish on the lead lap. But let's let's go. I wanna I'm gonna rewind it all the way before we start incidents because I I feel like someone had to have had a wreck on the pace lap. And 
had to have happened, right? Nope. Oh man, that guy just jumped on the brakes. He was right beside us, and he, uh... He wasn't ready for him to break, and then he's like, oh crap, I gotta hit the brakes. Doesn't take anyone else out, but, uh... Bad way to start that. BMW doing the same thing, and, well, he's going to join him. That's where you park when you screw up your braking zone into the first turn of a 30-minute race. And then his tires were hot. Oh, I thought they were going to run into each other. <clears throat> Blinking. And just way too aggressive there. That's the 14. Oh, that's a big dive. Jeez. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so we had all that happening, but then in comes this dude. He gets loose off. Splits them as they're spinning. That's impressive. And then, this is such a bad angle to try to get back on track with the way it kinks, but... No one's coming around, thankfully. Early lap wrecks. And then the 11 just goes in and wipes out the 8. That's how he ends up lap down. And we've got blinking again. Wide and sideways. Blinking, I'm going to assume. And oh, a little too much speed. And that's how that one ends. And then a little slip. Probably blinking. And then this is the 19. He gets loose. Gets up into the 25. The 25 soon disappears from our mirror. Well, he was ready for a hard right-hander there. 18. And he gets ran over by a GT. GT was coming in hot. That was the race leader, I believe. Oh, wow. Red Bull doing Red Bull things. That was something. And then 13 spins, and that's a lot of traffic going around there. 18, he's gonna do that same. Turn off the traction control. Or stop slamming on the brakes. So that was just. Yeah. I wouldn't have expected him to turn in there, so. I will blame that on the GT. Eight's got to jump on the brakes, and then he gets drilled. I don't know if he drilled him there, but... He gets back going. Oh, I'm going to assume it's this guy without the front end. Didn't realize you can see the tires like he's a modified. Blinking, blinking, wrecking. It's 24 in the 19. 24 goes wide, 19 is going to go up the inside, 3 wide, and then he just can't back off it quick enough. The 22 goes spinning through there again, 31 off track there. A little hot, a little wide, guardrail. It's not getting room. Are they racing? I don't even know if this is for position. It is for position. Okay. He's got around him now. Oh, and he spins it and parks it. And wrecks multiple people. We got the 15. He's 
he's gotten rear-ended. I don't think he had that rear end. Well, he gets rear-ended again. Kind of hanging out in the middle of the road, though, so I can see why. Oh, 13 went wide, trying to get back on track. Loops it. 29. Well, that was a real wreck this time. A little wide. A lot of barrier. And up. That was by the 600 I rated guy. Bit of a loop there by the 32. Nine cars thinking about it, and yeah, it's just you can't, unless you're right up on them out of that corner, there's not enough room to get in there, and it's such a wide entry that you just get lost in their mirrors. 25. We didn't actually see why he dropped off so much, but maybe it's because he's locking the front brake all over. 33, he is headed to the barriers. That was weird how the nose reacted there. Oh, and that is the leader. I believe he still beats us. Where does he finish? Car three, yeah, he still wins. That didn't matter. He was just showing off. Nothing there. Are we going to blink or wreck? Blink. 28 is off. We're getting close to the end. But really not the craziness that most sport was. I think it was just... Wow. <laughs> what are we doing here? So he comes out of the pits. Has he, like, got the pit limiter on and he can't figure it out? What is happening? There we go. Alright, we're up to speed. Oh, now, well, that scared him, so now he's got to hit the brakes park it right on the apex and then drive up into the racing line and then stop on the track and then exit. No idea. Eight car spinning behind us, I believe. And Red Bull spinning behind us. Maybe because we were too slow through there. Backing off there, GT. I guess he had two of them. Nothing. Eight car, he's had a bad race. And that thing is not wanting to uh, stick in the turns. And there you go. That's the race. Not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. I was hoping for like that big pile up screenshot didn't get it all we got was i rating and safety rating 19 safety rating 29 i rating we go zero incidents and uh actually 14 actually went zero incidents so sorry i guess i'm just so slow that he seems aggressive but if he made it out of there with zero incidents then i We'll take back what I said, the 17, zero incidents, and the 20 from the GTs, along with the 1. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was a very, very tight track for multi-class, but it actually worked out fairly well. Maybe because the fields were so spread out, because we were all single split? I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.